Hi everyone, my name is Matthias. In this video I will teach you how to play Consequences by Camila Cabello. Yesterday I transcribed the piano part of this song because there is no guitar in this song and uh, I will teach you how you can play this song on the guitar. If you are new to our channel, click here to subscribe and also let me know what other song would you like to learn from Camila's new album. Now let's talk about the chords. So for the intro, you have to know three chords. The first one is a C major chord, third fret on the A string, second fret on the D string, G open string, and first fret on the B string. The second chord is a F major chord. The first finger gonna do the bar, and third fret on the A and the D string, second fret on the G string. If you cannot play the F major bar chord yet, you can play the small bar F major chord. So 3rd fret on the D string, 2nd fret on the G string, and 1st fret on the B and the 1st string. So this F major chord is also good, but it's easier than the original bar chord. The last chord for the intro will be a G major chord, 3rd fret on the low E string, 2nd fret on the A string, and D, G and B string will be open. For the intro you just have to play each chord on the first beat, and the time signature for this song is 3-4, it sounds like this. One, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. This is the intro, actually the intro is, is the first line of the chorus. Now let's talk about the verse, and the first chord what you have to know is an A minor chord, A open string, 2nd fret on the D, G string, 1st fret on the B string. The second chord in the verse is F major chord, we talked about that. And G major chord gonna be the third chord. Now let's talk about the plucking pattern. One, two, three, two, two, three, 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 two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three. Two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. Let's play one more time slower. One, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. Okay, the next part in the song is the chorus. Uh, for the chorus, we're gonna learn a few new chords. So the first chord will be a C major chord, second one F major, G major chord. You have to repeat these four chords one more time after A minor chord, G major chord, and F major chord. E minor chord gonna be the fourth chord, this is a new one, so E open string, 2nd fret on the A and the D string, G and B string will be open. And the last new chord for the chorus will be a D5, so D open string, 2nd fret on the G string, 3rd fret on the B string. So the plucking pattern for the chorus goes like this. One, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, one, two, three, two, 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 two, three. Let's play one more time slower. One, two, three, two, two, three, 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 one, two, three, two, two, three. 
three. One, two, three, two, two, three. One, two, three, two, two, three. Now we talked about the intro, the verse, and the chorus. We have one more new part in this song, uh, the bridge. In the bridge, we're gonna have a few new chords. There is a bass line uh, from the C major chord. So C major will be the first chord after there is a D bass. After the bass goes down, so E bass will be the next one. And on the top of the E bass, there is a A minor chord. So C, D, E, and F major chord. This is the first sequence in the bridge. After you have to go down from the F major chord, so F bass, after E slash A minor chord, after D bass and C major chord. So the bridge goes like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. Three, two, two, three. And after the next chord, gonna be the first chord of the last chorus, the C major chord. So let's play one more time slower. One, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. One, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. And, and C major, this C major chord is the first chord of the last chorus. Okay, we talked about every part of the song. The next part is going to be the playthrough part. So if you learn the song, let's try to play with me.
this was the whole song. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, share with your friends, I appreciate your support. And if you're new to our channel, click here to subscribe and check out the playlists because I'm sure that you're gonna find so many songs what you can learn. Thank you so much for watching, see you in the next video.